Welcome to ESPN College Football Primetime, presented by PlayStation 5. Welcome to the Swamp, home of the sixth-ranked Gators, as they are in action against a very surprising and dangerous Arkansas Razorbacks team. As the Gators have their eyes on potentially a trip to the SEC championship game, and who knows, maybe a trip to the college football playoff. Bob Oshusen alongside Dan Orlovsky. Allison Williams will join us in just a moment. And Dan, this is a game that probably a few weeks ago wouldn't have stood out on the Gators' schedule, but with how Arkansas has played of late, it takes on a different tone tonight. Yeah, a feel-good story for the SEC and for Arkansas, really driven by a defense that's being opportunistic, creating a ton of turnovers. They lead college football in interceptions. Florida's got their hands full with this defense tonight. Arkansas won the toss, deferred their option to the second half. Allison Williams with you, and Kyle Trask to throw on the first play of the game. And he finds Kadarius Toney for last season's injury. Damian Pierce. Ball downfield against defenses, and then just a great pocket movement within this offense. Out the pocket. It's a four-man rush. And Trask tries to fit one in and does off the carom. It's corralled by Grimes. Pierce hurdles a man at the line of scrimmage. A little delayed handoff. And Pierce has a first down. Running hard. It reminds me a lot of Travis Kelsey in the pros. Right up the gut. It's another first down for Damian Pierce. Look, we still have SEC level tight ends. As Tony takes the wide receiver hitch and gets bottled up. Good pursuit by the Hogs. Seven. Pierce again finds some running room up the middle. Good to running the football in those passing situations. It's Tony again. And he get to the line to gain. He is stopped short. So an early decision for Dan Mullen. Quarterback run for Trask. And he's got the first down. Trying to turn the corner is Tony. It's a great play right there. Hitch. Grimes. Finds a lane. Finds the end zone. That's a touchdown for the Gators. Fake quarterback power. We just ran it on fourth down. Kick the ball out to Grimes. You get your big offensive lineman DeLance out throwing a lead block. Touchdown Gators. What a great play design. Using something that you just previously used in a situational football. That quarterback power. And then get the defense to flow. Kick it out to Grimes. Guys, listen to the response here from the crowd as Felipe takes the field. And he will go high percentage to Davion Warren. And Warren weaves his way for an Arkansas first down. Defenders out of position, force communication, and then really get defenses tired. You know. Wait again. To bring Franks in. He'll flip one in the flat, and it works to perfection. First drive. Franks is going to take a shot. Drops it right down the chimney, and into the end zone is Mike Woods for an Arkansas touchdown. In. Where's the weakness? How do I get the football to my playmakers? He does it as good as anybody in football. And he finds Trent Whittemore. Really good players around him, but you still have to operate it the right way. Execute it the right way. Yeah, normally the guy that's got the mattress sweater vest on. Is... And it comes off the edge. It gets picked up. That's just where Trask goes. Up into the right play. That's the wrong play. Tipped ball. And on the carry that ends up with Kadarius Tony. Last time. It's going to be a throw here. Trask off his back foot. Malik Davis. Hand on the face mask, and you never guess. If you don't see it, you don't call it. Team boy for a yard on first down. Huge for this Arkansas defense to get off the field without that flag getting thrown. Felipe Franks under pressure and down he goes. Sacked inside the 10 yard line. Go chop those knees off as a defender. So that keeps the Arkansas drive alive. Swing pass, nothing doing. 
Rakeem Boyd met in the flat. Also four on first down. They'll run it with Boyd on second down. Barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Sean Davis. Advantage of whether it's a scheme or a pass check. It's a three-man rush, and still he's flushed out of the pocket. Felipe Frank's going to try and run for it. By this call out of Barriota. Play action. Slant. Knocked away. Incomplete. Ventrell Miller. And great field position for Kyle Trask. A swing pass. Aquan Wright. Second down and nine. Right again. Finds a cutback lane. Quarterback run. Trask follows his blockers and pile drives. Aquan Wright. Jet in Florida with the two schools that stayed in with his recruiting all the way through, and he is a Gator. Wright cuts it back. First down and more. Wright again. He'll swing one out the flat. Kadarius Tony on a passing situation here on third down. Trask bullets one over the middle. It's a blown coverage and a walk-in touchdown for Trayvon Grimes. The second time he has found pay dirt here in the first half. Not yet. I'm waiting for I got it to mean you actually got it. Trask under pressure. Heaves it to the sideline. Trask off play action. He's got a hook up on the slant for the football. Trask off the flea flicker. Had to scoop it up. Still heaves it downfield to Henderson for the first down. How about the poise from Kyle Trask? Flea flicker, okay. Hand the ball off. This is going to be a great play. No, panic. Nope. Just gather yourself. Get the ball thrown as far as you can to Xavier Henderson. What a great play by Kyle Trask. So often in that moment, you freak out and you panic and you bobble the ball, you throw it out of bounds. But just the ability to have composure, gather yourself and make that play. Awesome. A pump fake. Trask takes a shot to the end zone. Climbing the ladder. Justin Shorter. That's a Gators touchdown. Flag down. What a catch by Shorter. Fully extended. Get the left foot, get the right foot down. Ball never moves. The six foot five frame shows off. Look at that. That's fully, he's got to be eight, eight and a half feet in air right there. Full speed. Already three touchdown passes here in the first half for Kyle Trask. 25 on the season and one away from adding to his record of four touchdown performances in the SEC. What a season he's having. I think Wisconsin should handle them tonight as well. So now having to start inside the 20 yard line, but breaking free in the open field. Freelon Smith. He'll go the distance for the touchdown. Down touchdown for Florida's offense. Ian Pierce. A little bit again. Pierce pile drives. The timeout on third down. Pierce with a cutback. He's got the first down. Trask off play action. Scanning the field. Takes another deep shot. Fits it in again to Trayvon Grimes. The scrimmage again, right? What run play do we want to get into? What play action ball do we want? Off play action again. Looking downfield again. Taking a shot to the end zone. Again. Jacob Copeland. Touchdown. Kyle Trask. Again, with a four-touchdown pass performance. Six games in a row. And he does it in the first half again. 
Kyle Trask has just been so impressive since the time he became the starting quarterback in this offense, as good as it can be. To get some kind of matchup as a quarterback run. Felipe Franks, four-man rush gets home, and down he goes. Zachary Carter gets through and gets the sack. Yeah, he said understanding, and then he's great at navigating in the pocket. He's got the check down here for a first down. Got really well. Pulls it down, and on the slant, that's incomplete off two and a half minutes away. Quarterback run here for Trask. Play quarterback at the NFL level, all that stuff. And there's a lot of similarities in Kyle Trask's game. Third down and nine, he's got to strike to Tony. Teams are looking at it going, okay, like, there's a lot of similarities between another. Quarterback power. With the timeouts. Here comes a blitz. Trask floats one into the end zone. Just in the back corner, it's hauled in by Zipperer for another Florida touchdown. When we talked about the operational space, all-out pressure. Everyone's blitzing man-to-man -man coverage. Watch Trash just drift. Know somebody's going to come unblocked and then throw the ball to space. Where only Zipperer can go get it before he's even looking for the football. How about Zipper? Track the ball, get your eyes up, make sure you get your feet down. That's good on Sundays. Just an outstanding job, again, of Kyle Trask knowing exactly what the defense is doing. This is what I have to do to be successful, and then operating with pure execution. A five-touchdown first half for Kyle Trask, and the Gators on top by 21. They've actually been relatively good on offense. Focus on that stuff, and easy plays like this to help your offense out. Get We're not helping ourselves out. We're giving up too many explosive plays. He said, though, really, he just wants his guys to come out and act and getting off the field on third down. And keeping the ball on third down themselves. Time, and you can create some big plays. You just have to hit when they're there. They're playing with some rhythm now as Blake Kern. By one set, you got to capitalize when plays are there. Franks to the sideline. They tuck it under and run. Trask tries to set up. Here comes a blitz on the slant. It's a pitch and catch first down. But Burks with his third catch. And now a quick hitch. This is Traylon Smith. And Boyd back into the left of Felipe Franks for second down and two. He'll take the handoff. Finds a crease. Finds the end zone. Touchdown. Exactly the drive that Arkansas needed to open up the second half. Trask looking over. He'll get the snap off. It's a handoff to Pierce. And he's into the secondary. Pierce again. Anthony Richardson, the true freshman third string quarterback, knows he's not supposed to be on his phone but still thought it was appropriate to go on Twitter at halftime and give Kyle Trask the highest. That's going to be one of those, like, <laughs> hey, Anthony, Coach Mullins would like to see you. Yeah. And he's going to knock on the door. He's going to be like, come here, bud. He's like, I'm not playing anyway. I, I love it. It's all right. But this this is a one-time only thing. <laughs> Here's Pierce. Take one right. Now this is such a big play to try and force third down to be a passing situation. Three-man rush gets home. Feels like a must for Arkansas to get a stop here. Trask sets up the tunnel screen. Have to begin the third quarter. Huge for Arkansas as they'll run a little option pitch here. And that will lose a yard. And went into the portal and ended up with Arkansas. And he's about three yards. Third down and three here to keep the drive alive. Hops one into the flat. Kern makes the catch. Wrestled down just shy of the first down by Marco Wilson. Cut back lane, and that will be good enough for a first down for Malik Davis. For Florida anymore, as the toss to Davis finds daylight. See, we got to run the ball against this stuff. Instead, it's play action. He's going to throw on the dime look, and he's going to have a first down find. Ball out on time. A little pump fake and a handoff to Davis. Plenty of resume. And it is quarterback run, as you would expect. Jones to the one-yard line. Henry 
Jones. Second effort. Gets a push. He's in. That's a Gators touchdown. The first touchdown of the season for Emory Jones. Takes a pretty good pop here by Brown. Just the ability to keep those feet moving. Cross that goal line. That's a really impressive drive by Florida, just continuing to pound the football. A timely throw here or there by Kyle Trask and then Emory Jones. 15. Flips one out to Kern. An eye on how he calls for the snap. It hurt him to clap, so they couldn't do a silent cadence. How about this run? Fine, but the pain in it is so significant. That's probably what Felipe's feeling right now. Lobs one to the sideline, almost. Traylon Smith. Your guy. Are the Gators bringing pressure? Delayed blitz. Felipe Franks goes down. Amari Bernie got home. Kyle Trask. Another first down hookup. Time for this offense. Well, they'll run a play before the end of the quarter. In SEC history, and Trask on second and four. Hands one off to Naquan Wright. It has to matter or mean a little bit more, that being the case. Play action, scene shot. First down and more. Grimes, all the way down to the 25-yard line. Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, probably one to it. In the Heisman. That's a backwards pass to Tony. Trick play to the end zone. It's a jump ball. And it's his arsenal, but he is a receiver for the Gators. And Naquan Wright with a stiff arm. Slipping through tacklers on. On first and ten from the 11. Trask. End zone. Broke it up. Wright empties the backfield. Floating it into the end zone for one of those tight ends. Keon Zipperberg has Kyle Trask touchdown pass number six. Zipper is just that inline tight end. They send the back out there and go a little bit of a fake and just see the impact that it has on that linebacker right there. Watch him just hesitate for a second. The pump fake gets him to stop his feet. How about the ball? Just get it up over his head right there with enough air. I say it all the time, don't make all the throws, make the right ones. He, grandfather gave him the patch on the NFL alumni jacket he wore. He said, I take it with me wherever I go. That's really cool. Always so kind of interested in why guys get introduced to the game of football, and his grandfather had that impact on him. Fumble. Scooped up. Zachary Carter with a convoy. It's a scoop and score for the Gator defense. Just a handoff from Felipe Franks to Boyd, and it doesn't seem that Boyd thinks that ball's coming to him. He never closes his pocket. It's a great job by Carter, the junior out of Tampa, catching a couple of bounces. The convoy carries him home. Now we're posing for the cameras. Looked like he started to protect that ball from his own teammates, like he was afraid. <laughs> Don't trip me. Away this is my touchdown. Get away. Florida pouring it on. ESPN College Football is presented by PlayStation 5. Play has no limits. And in part by Samsung QLED TV, the official TV of ESPN College Football. And when Felipe Franks was a quarterback, at Florida. Dan Mullen said it's hard to play quarterback at Florida. Those statues out there, they're all of quarterbacks. Will Kyle Trask be the next? Well, Dan Orlovsky, you started the campaign. These are the last three Heisman winners. Size them up with comparison to those three guys. He make it look easy right now playing quarterback at Florida. Uh, listen, his Heisman campaign has kicked off tonight. There is no more question about it. The other two that were 1-2 in the race, 
Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, unfortunately for them, they're home this weekend because of what has happened. Mac Jones as well did not play. Kyle Trask had the national audience, primetime television on ESPN, and he has put on an absolute show. His Heisman campaign has started and it's real. 100 yards and 10 touchdowns or something, it's gonna be hard not to give you the trophy. Felipe Franks down the sideline. Mike Woods with a cutback. He already has a deep ball touchdown in this game. And he's gonna try and find the pylon, and he will for an Arkansas score. Touchdown. Mike Woods, Arkansas. I'll be honest, if I could box one person tonight to be Matt Berry after his two comments, I'd love to see him in a ring. And six touchdowns for Kyle Trask means his work is done. How about that throw from Emory Jones? Just about found Rick Wells. Hatch. Easy kick, catch and throw. And there is a first down to Rick Wells. I would think he would be the logical guy to take over next year. He can do this as well, a dual threat quarterback. You gotta spend time in your team prepared for that quarterback run. It takes away from some other stuff that you might be ready for. And he stumbles. When it comes to recruiting into college football and into the NFL draft at the quarterback spot, it's because... I have a question for you. That's Naquan Wright, play action. It's a shot over the middle. Quarterback run. And that looks to be good enough. As Jones lines up on first down. Floats one to the sideline. Much better now than it was 15 years ago, but that's also why you spend time with the kids, you talk to them about football. That two, two tenths of a second is a huge difference. There goes Henry Jones. Through progressions and know what defense you're getting and where the ball needs to go to, you're never going to be good. Henry Jones finds the end zone. A touchdown on the slant to Xavier Henderson. And the Gators north of 60 on the scoreboard. It's a really good job in drive by Emory Jones. Watch him catch this snap. Okay, hold that safety. Ball needs to go there. And it's got to go high down in the red zone above Catalan to Henderson. Trask celebrating. Hey, get this. Hey, you got to get this. It's a good drive by that Gator offense. Probably full of mostly backups and great job by Emory Jones of navigating it. And this is what I love though, Dan Mullen, just constantly that teaching. Look at constantly teaching. What's going on? What did you see? What, what, it's, it's a never ending process for Dan Mullen and his quarterbacks. All right, Matt, we've got KJ Jefferson now in at quarterback as he hands one off to Traylon Smith. Now it's not unusual for a clap to be the way that the team initiates their offense. Play tonight, I mean, he goes 15 and 19 for 250 yards and two touchdowns. Jefferson, he'll go down. Tonight, so there's nothing that he needs to hang his head. You played tough, you played well, okay? He gets back with his football team, and there's some good stuff on tape that they can coach off of, because I love to talk with them, man. I love to talk with Sam Pitt. Just to win the SEC championship. So I'm saying right now, if that happens, like, he's got to go Camus, Yes. Uh, Opus one. Tail back. And Anthony Richardson. That wobbly pass is intercepted. It ends up in the arms of Jalen Catalan. They'll run the jet sweep. TJ Hammonds. Steve Boy caught behind the line. I think the big thing that I look at it, Bob, is, is I don't think there's a defense that's going to be this Florida offense, or at least a defense that's going to hold him under 40 or something like that. There goes Jefferson to the end zone for a touchdown. So the red shirt freshman backup quarterback, K.J. Jefferson, scores for the first time in his career. It's really this. They can beat you however you want them to beat you. They can beat you. They're going to use all of the field with all their people and their weapons, and they're really going to do whatever they want. Looks like that will be the final play of tonight's game. So the Gators are rolling, and their next stop will be against Vanderbilt next Saturday. Games against Kentucky, LSU, Tennessee still on the board for Dan Mullen's team. And you think they've got just about guaranteed a one-way ticket.
unless they have an unthinkable stumble to the SEC title game. And Felipe Franks, as you said, played very respectably in his return to the Swamp. Yeah, Felipe Franks has got a lot to be proud of tonight with the way he came back to the Swamp and carried himself. He just ran into a buzzsaw offense led by Kyle Trask, who has inserted himself into the Heisman conversation. The Gators are legit. 63-35, that is your final. Florida over Arkansas. For Allison Williams, Dan Orlovsky, I'm Bob Wischusen. Coming up next on ESPN, championship boxing from Las Vegas. Enjoy the fight. ESPN thanks you for watching this presentation of the Southeastern Conference.